we are looking today what is damped vibration for single degree of freedom without any external excitation force so this is a mass with a spring and damper the equation for this motion can be written as m x double dot plus c x dot plus k x is equal to zero and the solution for this equation is x is a e to the power lambda 1 t plus b e to the power lambda 2 t where lambda 1 and lambda 2 t can be defined as like this lambda 1 2 is minus c by 2 m plus minus plus is for 1 minus is for 2 under root c by 2 m square minus k by m c by 2 m can be replaced by epsilon that is uh, ratio of uh, damping ratio so this can be re replaced by epsilon so equation can be reorganized in this form also F minus epsilon plus minus under root epsilon square minus 1 whole in bracket and omega n omega is the natural frequency now there are possibilities that will have different kind of dampings and depending on the value of epsilon lambda 1 and 2 can have three categories so the three categories what what are here we are briefly indicating so that we can approach for the numerical the first one is if epsilon is greater than 1 the vibration is known as over damped vibration under over damped vibration the auxiliary equation the root of auxiliary equations are real that is because epsilon square is more than 1 so we'll have real roots and the roots will have the similar values that is x is a e to the power lambda 1 t plus b e to the power lambda 2 t where lambda 1 lambda 2 value can be obtained from here the motion is going to be a periodic motion that is motion will uh, the vibration will reduce after a period of time a periodic means it will vibration will not continue it will ultimately close down second possibility is epsilon is less than one that is under damped vibration uh, in this both the roots are going to be imaginary because epsilon square is going to be less than one because epsilon is less than one so epsilon square is going to be less than one so this will become an imaginary number and the general solution for this equation will be x is x e to the power epsilon omega and t sine omega d t plus phi where omega d is the frequency of reduced uh, reduced uh, vibration it can be calculated as omega d is equal to under root of uh, 1 minus epsilon square omega n now <clears throat> these are two possibilities epsilon is more than 1 and epsilon is less than 1 third category is when epsilon is equal to 1 that is <coughs> if epsilon is equal to 1 then the solution is going to be x is equal to a plus b t e to the power minus omega and t so these are the three cases where epsilon is less than 1 greater than 1 or equal to 1 now we'll try to see one numerical based on it how to apply it to the to solve a numerical so here is a numerical given to us <coughs> In the mass of a spring mass dashboard is displaced by a distance of 0 0.05 meter from the equilibrium position and released find the equation for motion for the following case when epsilon is equal to 1.5 when epsilon is equal to 1 and when epsilon is equal to 0 0.5 so there are three cases epsilon is more than 1 epsilon is equal to 1 and epsilon is less than 1 so we'll pick up from the last um, uh, formula case number one when epsilon is more than one then the value the sol e equation of displacement can be written as x is equal to c1 e to the power lambda 1 t plus c2 e to the power lambda 2 t where lambda 1 lambda 2 can be defined as minus epsilon plus minus epsilon square minus 1 uh, into omega n so if we'll keep this here we can get the we will keep the value of epsilon in this equation we will get the value of lambda 1 with a positive sign and lambda 2 with a negative sign the values are going to be minus 0 0.38 omega n and minus 2.62 omega n so the equation for x can be obtained x is equal to c1 e to the power lambda 1 t plus c2 e to the power lambda 2 t 
now c1 and c2 are the constant whose values is to be determined by the given initial conditions now what are the conditions given the initial condition is given here in the question that the um, dashboard is displaced by a distance 0 0.05 from the equilibrium position and released from the rest so that means when x was when t was 0 the displacement was x was 0 0.05 so this is the first condition second condition is when t was 0 the velocity x dot is velocity the velocity is 0 because it is released from the rest so these two conditions will put it here we will get the value of x dot and keep this equation keep the value of x dot is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 so we will get this equation so we will get two equations solve these equations to get the values of unknown c1 and c2 and the final displacement equation is going to be like this x is equal to 0 0.058 e to the power minus 0 0.38 omega and t minus 0 0.008 e to the power minus 2.62 omega and t so this is the first case when the value of epsilon is equal to 1.5 that is more than 1 for the second case epsilon is equal to 1 that means it is a critically damped motion when epsilon was more than 1 it was over damped motion so in critically damped motion the solution is given x is equal to c1 plus c2 t e to the power omega and t so we can get the value of x dot also as we, ha we are having end conditions are same so that is what we will do it here we will get the values in c1 and c2 by using two end condition one condition is when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 0.05 and when t is equal to 0 x dot is equal to 0 so these two conditions will put in this equation and x dot equation and x equation to determine two unknowns c1 and c2 the value of c1 and c2 can be determined and the value of this in total displacement can be obtained in this form now the third case when the value of epsilon is equal to 0 0.05 that is under damped vibration now the solution of this equation is x is equal to a e to the power minus epsilon omega and t sin omega d t plus phi so we'll get again x dot because the conditions are going to be the end conditions are again the same that is t is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 0.05 and second condition is when t was 0 x dot was 0 so these two conditions will keep it here one will, will get the value of x then x dot then we we'll put these values to determine the unknowns now what are the unknowns unknowns are a that is a we have determined a and phi so there are two unknowns and we get two equations one is for x one is for x dot we'll solve these equations get the values of a and phi and this is going to be our solution for the third case so these, these this is how we can solve the question of damped vibration in three uh, in, in in all three uh, category so and this is how we can get the value of displacement for damped single degree of freedom uh, um, without excitation force and uh, kind of motion <coughs> thank you we'll proceed with the next uh, problem in next lecture